If you've looked into various treatments for male pattern baldness, there's a chance you've come across microneedling for hair loss. It's not a new therapy, but its applications have come a long way from being purely cosmetic to more medical. Let's go into detail about what microneedling is, how microneedling might help prevent hair loss, microneedling precautions and side effects, and whether it truly promotes denser, thicker, and better quality hair. Recently, microneedling for hair loss has grown in popularity. It's a minimally invasive procedure that typically involves using a handheld tool or derma roller with a cylindrical head containing hundreds of fine needles to create evenly spaced micropunctures across the skin. It's one of many potential treatments for male pattern hair loss, which can be combined with other hair loss treatments to increase their efficacy. Benefits of microneedling. The idea that when you create these micropunctures, the body's healing processes and collagen production are triggered. As part of the healing process, molecules called growth factors are released into the immediate area, which encourage growth and repair of the skin and skin tissues. There's also evidence that microneedling encourages the production of new blood vessels. Essentially, you're producing more of what the body needs in order to grow new hair or increase hair density, thickness, and quality of hair regrowth. Early clinical data do show that microneedling can actually increase hair counts. One of the hallmarks of male pattern baldness is the shortening of the antigen or active growth phase of the hair growth cycle. It's also thought that microneedling creates more of a signaling protein pattern needed to regulate the hair growth cycle and coordinate growth and development of hair follicle stem cells into mature hair structures, keeping hair full and healthy. What to expect? Microneedling can be done at home or in a doctor's office with clean hands and a clean scalp and sometimes with the help of a local anesthetic if the patient's pain tolerance is low. The dermal roller or other tool is rolled onto the affected areas of the scalp several times in different directions until pinpoint bleeding or mild redness is observed. Any blood is washed off and followed up by application of an antibiotic cream or other topical serums. After a waiting period, which could be up to 24 hours, a hair loss treatment such as minoxidil may be applied. There's some preliminary clinical data suggesting that combining these therapies helps increase their efficacy and potential for preventing hair loss. Potential side effects. Being a minimally invasive procedure, microneedling side effects are usually mild. These can include localized redness, pinpoint bleeding, seborrheic dermatitis or galing to the scalp, and generalized itching and irritation or infection. These can generally be minimized by using smaller caliber needles and ensuring that the skin and tools are carefully disinfected. There's also the question of whether combining microneedling with topical hair loss treatments such as minoxidil or finasteride might increase the incidence of side effects of these medications due to greater absorption. Unfortunately, there isn't enough clinical trial data to definitively say whether this is a real risk. But if in doubt, you should reach out to your doctor to confirm that microneedling is safe to introduce into your hair loss treatment regimen. There may be a case for using microneedling to promote hair growth and help treat androgenetic hair loss. It's a procedure that can be done at home or in the doctor's office by using a tool designed to make micropunctures in the skin being treated. These tiny injuries help kickstart the body's healing process and produce more of the molecules needed for hair growth and hair follicle development. Depending on your case, you might even combine microneedling with application of a topical hair loss medication for more power in preventing hair loss. While it shows promise, more research is needed on microneedling before we can say whether it truly measures up against other more clinically significant therapies like finasteride and minoxidil. If you have any questions about microneedling for hair loss, we encourage you to talk to your doctor. Stay tuned for more videos and hair loss treatments. See you next time.